I didn't know in my childhood that I actually had this gift because to me it was natural. I'm going to be telling you the difference between a clairvoyant, a psychic and a medium. I actually did go to church, I did go to the Sunday school so I knew there was something going on. I am what they call a subjective clairvoyant medium. So I didn't know I had anything till about 11 years old when my mother told me that I would be in North America um, doing something like this and no, I wasn't going to do that. So I searched around for 22 years, <laughs> looking for it. But when I was 22, I got told again that I was a subjective clairvoyant medium and that would be on stage and I went, no, I'm not. Okay, I have been a clairvoyant medium, clairvoyant psychic medium, for, actually we worked out 34 years. I started when I was 22. And again, I fought it for over 20 years and now I'm actually doing it. Please put your hands together for an amazing woman, clairvoyant, Christine Hurley. Thank you so much, Brenda. You do a lovely job for me. Hello, everybody. How are you all doing? Ladies, gentlemen, if you've got kids, pretend you're shouting at the kids. OK, are you ready? Get set. Yay! That's better. We need that energy to let them know that we're actually here and to have that connection because your loved ones actually can hear your voice. They actually are connected to us. You can't see it, you can't feel it, but they are connected to us. It's like an invisible cord, okay? So, a medium. I talk to people that are dead. That's my job. I prove that we don't die, okay? Our spirit goes on. A clairvoyant, actually, they see. They see pictures behind the eyes. You know when you've all lost your grandma or you lost your dad or, and you suddenly see a picture in your head right here? That's clairvoyance. They are coming to visit you. That's how it works. It's that simple and none of you really know it. So there's clairvoyance. There's clairaudience. Sometimes you'll hear noises. Sometimes you'll hear a voice. Sometimes you'll hear, I hear my dad's voice right at the back of my head. So when you're here, you're not using this ear and you're not using these eyes. It's be I behind the eyes, behind the ears. And clear sentiments is when you feel it. Now, when I feel it, I've felt that my uh, hair's been shaved. I've felt that they've taken off one of my boobs. I've felt fingers missing. Yesterday, I felt that I had a caliper on my leg. They stick a finger in me back when I've got somebody that had lung cancer. I actually feel it. I was in pain. I was choking to death today because I had a gentleman that had actually taken his own life. So the thing is, is that I started choking. So that's the Claire's, okay? Clairvoyant, clairaudient, clairsentinence. A lot of people don't know it. For the ones that um, haven't seen my show, I'm a subjective clairvoyant medium, okay? So that means I'm a psychic, I'm a medium, and a clairvoyant all at the same time. Have any of you thought that you've had a psychic um, experience? One, two. Okay, stop doing this. I want to see this. Okay, how many you think you've had a psychic experience? One, two, three, four. Come on. Nobody from here. Oh, there's a, okay, yeah, two, three. Okay, I'm going to ask you some questions. And I don't want you to put your hand up. Okay, wait till the end. And then you put your hand up. The ladies and gentlemen that have been here before know the routine, don't you? Okay. So I'm going to ask you some questions. How many of you have had a song in your head that's played over and over all day long? How many of you have thought there's somebody standing behind you or you've seen somebody in the corner or you thought somebody was there? Just a feeling, okay? How many of you have thought, I didn't leave it like that, and it's moved? Cool. How many of you have seen something out the corner of your eye and you've gone, and there's nothing there? How many of you have been stood watching the TV, or sat watching the TV, and you thought something, a mouse or a spider, ran right across the floor. How many of you had the chills and you don't know why? 
how many of you have suddenly thought of a grandma or a dad or a mother or somebody that's passed over and it's just popped into your head for no apparent reason? Oh, you never guess who I thought of today. Put your hands up if you've had any of these experiences. Come on, I want to see them high. <laughs> no, no, don't. Keep them up. Keep them up. Take a look around. You're all getting it. Like, okay, I'm going in the middle now. And I don't know where I'm going. I'm going over this side. The make no, which one? Come on, make up your mind. There's, I've got two mothers here. that want to talk to... So I've got somebody going. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them, not me. I'm, I'm just the mouthpiece. I've got two mothers. And there's one there, and there's one there. Right, which one are you going to win? This one. There's a mother here that wants to say hello. Um, Sweetheart, the lady with the black t-shirt, you've got a, a red purse, uh, a drink bottle or something. Yes. Hi. Okay. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. Good. I like to hear a positive note. Sweetheart, have you lost your mother? I have not. Okay. There's a lady from the gen... You haven't, have you? Okay. No, it's the lady beside her. Okay. We're together, so let me talk to this lady first, okay, because her mum's here. I didn't know which one it was. Okay, sweetheart, has your mum also got a gentleman? I don't know if it's your dad yet, okay? Has your mum also got a gentleman with her as well? Be it a brother or your dad. I'm also being told that there was a child that went to heaven. I don't know if it was a miscarriage or not. Have you ever lost a child? I've been told about four times. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, then your mum is with this child, okay, and a dog. Okay. Okay, and I'm going, I'm not, this is not a big dog. Okay. I'm going down a little bit, but okay. I'm not going to bend down, okay? okay? I'm also being told here, oh, sweetheart, there was somebody in your background, the teeth in the middle were missing, the bottom. Could have been. Okay, there's like four, the bottom yeah. four mm -hmm. missing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but they had a great smile. Yes. Yes. It, it, the, the creased here beautifully, yeah. mm -hmm. okay? And they want to say hello to you. you. It feels that you're feeling a bit lost right now, okay? This is going to clear itself up in the next four weeks, so just be in the moment. Okay. Stop worrying about it. All right. Okay? Yeah. yeah. What does worry get you? Nothing. Okay? Tick a tape, tick a tape. Okay? Now, have you got a problem with one of your um, Achilles heels at the back here? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. they just told me about it and drew my attention to yeah. that. Just to let you know that you're not alone. Oh. That somebody is understanding and knows what's going on. Okay. Because it looks like you don't know which direction you want to go right now. Right. It will be revealed, it will come to you. It's nothing that you're going to have to search for. Do you understand? Oh, well, that's good to hear. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you know when you're getting an um, itchy ear? You better. Right, they're giving you wet willies, sweetheart. Oh, <laughs> great. Right, it's also listen to them. All right. <laughs> right, the pointing to the ear, listen to them. But don't listen, it'll just pop in as an idea. It'll just come to you. All right. Okay, or you'll be talking to somebody and you'll just go, ooh, yes, yeah. I've got it. So chill out. Okay, now hold on to that moment. All right, because they're sending you an enormous amount of love because you have got that power. You can whack the ball in a ball game. You can give it a swing and whack it. And that's what you're going to do with life. Okay? Thank you. You go for it, sweetheart. You've got a lot of power in you. Okay, now I'll go back to your friend. Hi, sweetheart. How are Hi. you doing? Good. Thank you for being so patient. You were used there. Okay. She's a good friend. That's great. Good. It, they got my attention one way or another, right? Um, as I say, I hand myself over to them. Okay? Looks like you got one of them multicolored scarves when you were a kid with the bits of wool, the multicolored scarves. You know when they use all the bits and the ends of the, um, when they've knit a sweater and there's a bit of this color and there's a bit of that color and you get the multicolored scarves that we hated. Do you understand? <laughs> right, we haven't got the microphone going on here. Check one, check two. <laughs> Smart girl. <laughs> I have a multicolored afghan that I still use from, oh. from my grandmother. Oh, wow. From the little grandmother. She's teeny, teeny, puny little thing. 
but she was strong in an awful lot of ways, and you have the same strength of her, okay? But you've forgotten also, okay? Draw it in there. That's where you draw it in. And then just suck it in. It's sucking in the breath of life. A lot of people, actually, if you take in a deep breath, you actually can't, in, can't take in a deep breath because you won't give yourself permission to enjoy the breath of life. That's how I tell where I'm at. Because if I can take in a real big deep breath, as much as I can let out, I know I'm in a good place. Try it, okay? Do you have problems with one of your wrists? Right, then there's somebody <coughs> that had a problem with the wrist <coughs> and had trouble breathing. Hang on. Oof. They really had, they really had trouble breathing. There's somebody in your background that, <gasps> they must have had lung cancer. Okay, and they're coming in to say hello to you. And the minute you say, okay, they'll leave me alone, so say it quick. <coughs> I know I'm right. <laughs> you want to be up here and feel it? Okay, tell them to leave me alone. Is it your dad? Oh, wow. <sighs> okay. Go and do it to her, not me. He's really altering my voice. Okay, sweetheart, come on, you're gonna have to let me go. He, okay, he wants me to tell you how much he loves you, that's why he won't let me go. And he wants to actually physically change my voice to make it his, so that you know how much he loves you. Okay, he's making me tinkle all over here. There is no words to describe the amount of love that he wants to send your way right now, okay? I love you, sweetheart. I'm gonna have to cut that off. <sighs> He's strong. <clears throat> okay, sweetheart, let me have my voice back. Okay, um, actually, I, I'm just keep on going to one person. Oh, now I've got two. Okay. Now, there was a gentleman called Gordon Higginson, and he, and he used to go on stage with Doris Stokes many, many years ago. And I actually was on stage with him when I was 22, a long time ago. And to do this in a place that big, you can't actually say, okay, that person up there at the back, you just can't see it. So I am doing what he did, because I've got two ladies in my view here, and I don't know which one I want to be with. Right, I have a feeling it's the lady with the blue um, shirt on, but the lady in the green in front, right, I'm also drawn there. So I'm going to ask two or three questions and it'll be split by the time I've finished, okay? Which one of you two have lost your dad? Yes, you as well, so let's see the hands. Okay, you both lost your dad. Which one of you two has also lost your father-in-law? Both of you, and it's cool. Which one of you two has also, your dad has got a brother with him? <laughs> Which one of you two has also lost your mum? There we go, we've got one left. Okay, thank you. I knew that was gonna happen, your mum's saying hello. <laughs> Wonderful. Right. I'm okay. also just being told that there's um, a medium size dog just sat next to you? My dog just passed away. I had to put her down two weeks ago. No, you sent her home and you give her her life back. Exactly. Okay, I lost my dog a year and a half ago and she was my baby. Just beside your feet, I'm tingling now, okay? Just beside your feet, your legs will start going a little bit cold. It's a dry cold. Listen out and feel your own bodies while I'm doing this because your animals are going to come in right now. I've just been told, okay? And they've never done this to me before either, so this is new. Right, your dog is sat right next to you. Your leg will feel like a dry cold and it'll feel like a very, very faint tingling. 
Can you feel it? I think so. All right. Well, give your dog a stroke, okay? When my dog comes to me, I always, always act the same, okay? Because I can't see you here, I can see you there, and I know she's there, and I can feel her, okay? So when she's on my bed, I still throw back the cover and say, come on in, then, and I still tell her she's mommy's baby and how much I love her, okay? Okay. The one thing with a dog is they teach you absolute, unconditional love. Yes. You didn't hurt her, okay? okay? She's saying thank you because she's now two-year-old. You know when they're at that two-year-old and they're smart, they've all been trained, but they're still playful? Yeah. That's what your dog's like now, okay? Thank you. And your mum has got the dog, all right? Okay. And they're both very, very safe, so don't worry about them, all right? Because if your dog had to go anywhere, it would have to be with your mum. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to leave... Oh, hang on a minute. I've been told to give you this. Sweetheart, this is from your mum and your dog. A memory. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank them, not me. Wow, what a lot of love. How many of you felt your animals? Did anybody feel the tingling? Yeah. They keep on playing with me, and it's really, really cool and where they're taking it, so I never know what's going to happen when I'm up here. I just have to go with it and trust them. This is where I like my job, is when I can reunite people like that and make people feel better. This is a good part of my job. Okay, now I'm coming to the front. Who would like to come up here with me? Okay, keep your hands up. Come on, keep your hands up. I need to see where am I going. I think I'm going to that lady at the back there with the stripy thingy on. Hi, sweetheart. What a great smile. Oh, that's somebody that's excited to come up here. Come and hold my hand. Okay, what we're going to do, hang on. There, there, go. there we go. We're going to walk up and down here. And what you're going to do is get used to the feel of being up high. Okay, look at them. They're not going to bite you. They can't get near you. All them flowers are protecting us. Okay, we're going to walk up and down. Okay, and you're going to relax. You're not going to use your brain. Nobody's paying you to do anything. Okay, you're coming for a walk with Christine. Okay. La -di -da -di -da -di -da. Okay, we're going for a walk. Just relaxing. Okay, up and down. We're going to be changing your energy at the same time. Okay, I'm going to get faster and faster. Okay. Okay, we're going for a walk. Let's swing those hips. You always walk from the hips. That's why God gives them. How many of you have felt somebody being in a bad mood? You've sat next to them and said, ooh, I don't like the feel of them. This is what it is. That's part of what I do. Feeling, okay? We don't use our feelings enough. We've got all these senses. Do you know that we don't use all of our brain? Right? They've actually proved in England that people that do what I do, actually our vibration and our brain waves changed. That's why I haven't got a brain. I'm fried, okay? I let them do it all. I give up, okay? I'm going to turn you around the next time round. Okay, sweetheart, just turn around. Face me, okay? You're just going to scan the room, and one person's going to jump up. You just want to go with them, so make sure you cover everybody. Don't think about nothing. There you go. The lady in the green and the brown jacket there. Is that the lady? Yes, that is, yes. Uh, okay. Is there a male or a female with her? Just say it. Uh, male. Which generation? The one above her or the one above that? Above that. Sweetheart, have you lost a gentleman from the generation above you? Yes. Okay. There's also somebody else there. I want you to pick um, the generation above her or the generation above that. Pick one of them generations. Above that one. Okay. So you're going to the grandmother generation. Okay. Is it a male or a female that's with her? Female. Is it one or two? One. Have you lost one of your grandmothers, sweetheart? Yes. Okay. The first thing that comes into your mind, just tell me. Baking. Did one of your grandmothers, was one of them a better baker than the other? <laughs> you have to pick now. Sure, yeah. Okay. I know I am going to add in here, but one was, a more, one was more of a talker than the other as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And I know I've got them both here, okay? 
Um, there's also somebody else on that generation that wants to say hello, okay? And you know who it is because there's not many more people left, male or female. Male. Is there anything all these people want to say? Hi, miss you, love you. They want you to not worry. You're worrying about a couple of things right now. Leave it up to them. They'll sort it out. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Are you finding yourself ooh, um, getting stressed out a lot recently? Yes. <laughs> okay. Your patience has been stressed, right? Oh, sweetheart. Mm. Sweetheart, well done, and thank you very much. You did it. Okay. It's having no fear. Well done. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your angels, your guides, your helpers, your loved ones, Wish you all love and happiness. And thank you so much for coming out today and joining us. All right, let's hear it for Christine Hurley, folks. Give her all your love. Thank you. Christine will be back.